In this video, we're going to be talking about scheduled events inside of your algorithm. Scheduled events allow you to do regular activities on a time or a specific date that you didn't need. They take a date rule, a time rule, and then an action that you'd like to complete. It's important to initialize schedule events inside of your initialize method. You only need to initialize them once and then they'll be run every time. So here for a date rule, there are several different types of date rules we can use. The first one that we've used here is the most obvious. You want to execute on a specific date. I wouldn't recommend doing this. This is uh, essentially look ahead bias or maybe you've got preset dates that you like to program in, but this would have limited use. We've also got date rules for the every day. So that will execute this scheduled action every single day at this specific time. In the same way, we have every, every day, but for the specific asset, SPY. So this will execute every trading day for the SPY asset. And in the same way, we can trigger the algorithm on specific days. So instead of every day, we'd say every day of week, Monday. Day of week, Tuesday. And that will run the code on specific days of the week at this specific time. Combining this, now we can edit the time rules. So say we'd like this to go every day. This will execute every day at 1 p.m. This is the hour and this is the minute fraction of the day. And if you'd like, you can also do an every parameter here, which takes an interval. So we can say every time span from minutes, 10. And as you can see, it successfully compiles. This will be executing every day and then executing every 10 minutes to schedule this debug message. Those are the key methods for the schedule manager. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comment section or post in the forums. Thank you.